Hey, call me Louis. This is my spot. Louis spot. <coughs> One of the interesting phenomena in West Africa. Well, let me not let me, let me stay West Africa, but say something else. You know, there will be. A, a, I think somebody mentioned this earlier. There will be elections in Senegal later this month, the presidential elections. Now, what had happened uh, in Senegal was that uh, over the last two years or so, uh, the most popular person in terms of the opposition had got into trouble, got arrested and charged and so on. In the, in the end, I think he got charged for something, found guilty on the charge of corrupting the youth, uh, something like that, sentenced. Uh, by far the most popular politician, I'm talking about a gentleman called Usman Sonko. Uh, so that is in jail. And people were killed in Senegal demonstrating against his arrest and imprisonment. Genuinely popular figure. So, uh, because of this concern about democracy on the continent, and Senegal stands out on the continent as the one of the few countries on the continent which has never had a military coup. Since independence in 1960, there's never been a coup there. Eh? You'd have elections and then the come parties lose elections and new ones take over. But there was a crisis now because here is the most popular leader who's opposite side of the president in another party, but is in jail. So, uh, so we engaged, we engaged with President, President Makisal to say about President, uh, Senegal is very, very important on the continent as this great exemplar, exemplar of democracy. It illustrates very, very firmly, very conclusively that we as Africans know how to manage democratic systems. And we can't afford to have Senegal fall back on that. And therefore, let the matter of Usman Sonko, who wants to run for president, let that matter be decided by the voters, not by prison orders. Yeah. And just before I came here, I saw a lovely report that President Makisal has intervened. Uh, declared an amnesty all the prisoners out of jail, including Usman Sonko. Uh, <clears throat> and pardoned various charges, as a result of which Usman Sonko is running for president. That was uh, <clears throat> an excellent intervention made by the president of Senegal. Precisely to say it's it's a responsibility of the Senegalese or the rest of us to defend this democracy, particularly you raise quite correctly in the context of the military takeovers that have been taking place, particularly in West Africa. But I think we've got to understand this about the West Africa situation. You know where a few years back, you remember, we had to work with, the, uh, with Cote d'Ivoire, the Ivory Coast, Cote d'Ivoire to help them to get sorted out. And one of the things that we found was that there was an agreement with France signed at the point of the independence of Cote d'Ivoire that France would maintain a military barracks in Abidjan, the capital. And the commander of the French troops, in any situation where he felt 
the security of Cote d'Ivoire or the security of France was threatened, he had the power, sovereign power, a French general, to take over the public station broadcasting and announce whatever he liked. It's one of the agreements, one of the 12 or so agreements that not only Cote d'Ivoire, but many countries of the Francophone, the Francophone countries that signed with France at independence. Mali, Mali just now, has just repudiated all of those agreements. I think there were 11 or 12 of them. Which include prescriptions about when you've generated a foreign currency, bank it in Paris. Yeah. And Paris, the French franc then, would guarantee your currency, CFA. Part of what is happening uh, in, uh, in West Africa, Palisa, as you can see, is a rebellion by young officers against French neocolonialism. It's not only military coups to remove uh, some elected president. But these young soldiers are saying, our politics since independence has respected this junior relationship with France. That must end. So you see the big confrontation between these countries and France. It has to do with ending, the, like the agreements I've talked about, that you'd have a French general based in Cote d'Ivoire who has actually the power to intervene in Cote d'Ivoire as he liked. So it's, it's an anti-new colonial rebellion. It has got this element, you are quite correct, of uh, removing elected presidents. How does the continent deal with that? Well, you know the OAU has a standard policy, as you, as you mentioned, uh, against illegal changes of government. So the military governments don't get recognized. But we have a particular consequence now. We're Mali. Niger, Burkina Faso, decide that they are walking out of ECOWAS. Now that can't be a positive development. What is to be done? It's not a question that we can answer here. But I think, again, I'm trying to say, it's necessary for us to understand the objective reality what actually is happening? It's not just young soldiers who are hungry for power and therefore remove this elected president, no. That's why they talk about Thomas Sankara. Sankara took power by coup d'etat. He was a soldier. But Sankara understood this particular issue, the need to destroy, destroy and defeat neocolonialism. And that's what these young soldiers are saying. What do we do with them? What does Africa do with them? I think Africa is an, an, a challenge, a problem, answering that issue, answering that question. Uh, again, you see, with regard to these issues of uh, our need properly to understand what are we dealing with now that sums it up for this video did you like or do you hate what you just watched share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below i encourage having a proper discussion on matters like this without having me impose my opinions and ideas on this matter otherwise give this video a thumbs up if you liked it that's the only way youtube can know this video is so much interesting and share it out there to more avid viewers just like you Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you also have not done so and click the notification bell so as to be notified as soon as I make new uploads on videos just like this. My name is Louis. Until next time.
Peace out.